on, Strolly, get it open. We haven't got much time. Oh, take your time. This is a tough job. Come on, get going. I don't want to be here all night. I got to blow this thing open. Take it easy. Look out, now. Let go. <laughs> Boy, that does it. Oh, look at all that lovely ice. Come on, let's get out of here. They can hit that explosion a mile away. You'll have a thousand cops here. Oh, take your time. There won't be any cops here for an hour. Are you kidding? They'll be here in a few minutes. Ah, uh, look, Jim, it's nine o'clock. They're all looking at the Olsen and Johnson show. <laughs> ah, Thursday's a night, is it not in your slacks? All in your neighbors, have fun and relax. Remember, it's your turn to find us. And when you do, you wait and see. Olsen, Johnson, all about? You guys running for president? No. no. To win a jackpot on a quiz program? No. To strike oil in Texas? No. no. Then what's the celebration all about? We just got a seat in the subway. <laughs> I hope it's a boy for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you take that bus down here? You know how crowded the subway is. Do you know a quicker way to get your pants pressed? <laughs> uh, I don't yes, know. but you know... Step aside, gentlemen. Can't you see I'm the mother of five children? Would you mind repeating that, please? <laughs> Not if I can help it. <laughs> ten cents apiece. Uh, RJ's ten cents apiece. Nice. RJ's ten cents apiece. Lay off of that truck! Lay off of that truck! Lay off! Ice juice, ten cents a glass! Don't stop it now, boys. I'm taking my girl to dinner. What's well, that? what's the idea of the feed bag? She eats like a whore. <laughs> let them blow my head off! <laughs> Don't let them blow my head off! <laughs> Don't let them... Who are you? A short beer. <laughs> oh, what a cute little Look dog. Look at that little dog. Yeah. Where, where have you been? We've been to the movies. To the movies? Yes, we saw a most wonderful picture. What? Gone with the wind. Gone with the wind. The yes. dog saw gone with the wind. <laughs> How did the little dog like the picture? <laughs> No, she liked the book much better. Goodbye, goodbye. I gotta go back to the darn thing. What's now what? I gotta take this back to the store. Now what's the matter? It don't work. You don't know how to use it. Look at this. <laughs> you know, they don't know. What are you shishing about? I'm from the FBI. From the FBI? Yeah. I'm an undercover man! <laughs> Isn't that cute? A sailor and a whack getting married. Yeah, that's the only way the Army and the Navy will ever get together. <laughs> now, what's the matter? Hey, hey, what are you doing with that long ticket? I'm going to Russia. Hmm. Yeah, but what about this blowtorch? What are you doing with that? That's to get through the Iron Curtain. Yeah. <laughs> Hello! Hello, kitty old gal. Are you going to have a date with me tonight? <laughs> Nothing doing. I know your kind. First, you'd take me for a walk in the park. Yes? Then you'd put your arm around me. That's right. Then you'd try to kiss me. That's right. I can read you like a book. You can what? I can read you like a book. <laughs> oh! 
Don't miss page eight, honey. It's a wow. <laughs> Yes, sir. Stand close together, please. Close what? together? Close together, yeah. please. Is all right, right? No, closer. Closer. Oh, that's fine. Well, what's the idea? I'm taking a course of exercises, and it says to begin, put two heels close together. <laughs> hey, who are you? I'm Napoleon. He's crazy. I'm Napoleon. <laughs> it's a lie. I'm Napoleon! They're all crazy! I'm Napoleon! There seems to be a slight discrepancy regarding Halloween. There's something all oh, so wrong about it. But I can see right through the mystery regarding Halloween. Irving Berlin never wrote a song about it. Jack o' lantern grin and that a ghost made of linen. It's Halloween. Apple duck and hear those old gobblers clucking. It's Halloween. Drink up that golden cider till there's no more room for the cares of the day. Unload your pack and tumble round a witch's room and let her fly away. Buy a funny ball space, decorate all on wall space. It's Halloween. Try that pie, it's punk, and have a donut for Duncan. It's Halloween. So let's go ring up your doorbell, and let's paint a few days free. And let's be just like kids again on Halloween. Well, here's Uni. Let's tell her the big secret. Hey, Uni. You're the gal we sing blues oh, for. You can say that because you know it's You're true. the top that we got a red hot little item of news for. Have I got news for you? So? I got it directly from Kathy O'Donnell, who happened to overhear Billy O'Connell, who rooms with the boy in the social committee that's picking the Halloween queen. But, Junie... She said that she heard an unconfirmed rumor that that little snip of a Marjorie Bloomer had hired a boy by the name of McQueen to go tampering with that new voting machine. No! Oh, it's not that I mind politics of this kind, even when it gets right down to cases. Hey, wait! But I do think it's mean for a Halloween queen to be picked like an egg at the race. She's not, After you After all, see? it's real keen to be chosen the queen of this fabulous social affair. Hold the phone. And we girls should be big and not stoop to intrigue and to stay out of each other's hair. I don't like to walk about campus and talk about Marjorie Bloomer this way. But what can I do when it seems to be true that she's trying to win my ball play? I've always said that I'd rather be dead than have anyone question my actions. But if Marjorie Bloomer makes good on that rumor, I'll really reduce the sanctions. Who? Who you were elected? Me? Yes, you're the new Halloween queen. Well, why didn't you say so instead of standing around talking about nothing? Women! But we still love our Junie. She's the queen of Behind, be on guard, that is all. <laughs> <laughs> 
Attention to all police officers. Discontinue search for the mugger. He has just been shot by Killer Johnson, the private eyes. That is all. Take that off. Come on, come on. Take that off. Let's cut out this clowning. We got work to do. You know, we are engaged in a very, very serious business. Now, in order to... Well, let me tell you, I was only fooled and I'm not a murderer. Oh, are you a murderer? Come on, here, what's going on? What are these secretaries doing here? They're answering anonymous letters. But no one knows where an anonymous letter... <laughs> hey! No one knows where an anonymous letter comes from. That's why they're tearing them and putting them in the wastebasket. We don't know where to mail them. Uh, you don't know Hello. Well, I'll have to talk to my partner first. Some guy wants us to help him with a campaign. Well, what kind of a campaign? For everybody to sleep with their windows closed. Well, sounds like a very good idea. Is he a fresh air fiend? No, he's a burglar. Uh, hang up that phone. Attention all detectives. Pick up woman walking through Central Park. She is wearing a hat. That is all. <laughs> yes, and shut that off, too. Well, go to hey, work. Uh, Excuse the intrusion, please. Charlie Chan, did you humble welcome to detecting profession? Well, thank you, Charlie Chan. Is there anything else? Uh, I... Uh... <laughs> he forgot his cue. <coughs> Correction, please. Have cue in pocket. <laughs> Take mine. Uh -oh. oh, very nice. You like it? I'll still be behind eight balls. Yeah, sure will. <laughs> Goodbye, Charlie. <laughs> Hey, who was that? The thin man. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a client. Act busy. Act busy. Well, come in. I just poisoned my husband. I just poisoned my husband. Well, now, wait. wait. You're a detective. Lock me up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't come in this place and want us to lock you up. We work on a 40-hour week. And we've got organization and system around here. Where's that two-cent stamp I got? Yeah, but listen, we got to get some evidence. Maybe we can help her. Well, all right. Listen, what kind of a man was your husband? Well, he was four feet two. Four feet two. We won't need all this paper. <coughs> all right, go ahead. He was ball-headed. Ball-headed. Bow-legged. What? And bow-legged. Oh, bow-legged. And... <laughs> Oh, what's oh. the matter? What's it, the matter? It, <laughs> well, come on, what? Yeah, what was it? And he was a Republican! Oh. <laughs> and you poisoned him? <laughs> you poisoned him? Yeah. Well, that's the best thing that could ever happen to that guy. <laughs> well, listen, if you poison him, we got to have a sample of your poison. Have you got any here? Right here. <laughs> It's poison, all right. I forgot to tell you. I also shot my husband with a 38. Now we're going to get some evidence. Call it the homicide. Don't you dare call homicide. Hey, what? Don't call homicide. Hello, homicide. This is Johnson. Send me a sample of a 38 bullet. Ow! Never mind, I got one. <laughs> hey, where have you been? I've just been down to the automatic restaurant. Uh -huh. Automatic, you mean automat. Why don't you talk English? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah. You drop in a nickel, get a cup of coffee. Yeah. Drop in a nickel yeah. and get a piece of toast. Sure. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could drop in a nickel and get a wife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could drop in a wife and get a nickel? <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Olson, Mr. Johnson, yeah. you must help me. My husband's trying to get rid of me and run off with a redhead. A redhead? Can you give us a description of her? Yes. Take this down. Really? Well, she's about 18 years old. 18. How old? 18. Nice age. Blue eyes, that big. How big? That big. Mm. A figure like uh, September morn. You wouldn't mind to ask anything better. A Mona Lisa smile. Yes. And she lives at the Town Hotel. Where does she live? The Town Hotel. Town Hotel. You know the telephone number? No. <coughs> Heavens! That's my husband now. He'll kill us all. Where can I hide? In the closet. In Come that on. closet there. 
Get in that closet. And you... I'm going to hide with her so she won't be lonesome. <laughs> well, listen, I'll open it. I'm not afraid of him. He won't come in here. Hey, well, listen, you can't come in here. I can't hide. No. <laughs> I'm looking for my wife. Carry on hide. Listen, there's nobody in here but me and a couple of cats. Oh, yeah. Who is she? What's in that closet? <laughs> I'll teach you to go to the Lord! Wait, hey, hey, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What have you got against that little woman? What have I got against her? Every night she comes home and asks me for money. Five, ten, wait twenty. Wait a minute. How can she spend all that money? I don't know. I never give her any of it. <laughs> wait a minute. What are you doing to this little woman? You keep out of this. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> My good man, and think. Think about what? Think about this lovely little wife of yours. Who slays for you. Who sews for you. Who cooks for you. And who took you for better or for worse. And you're worse than she took you for. <clears throat> yes. But yet she still loves you. Yeah, my advice to you, brothers, is to keep away from that red end. She'll take you for every dime you got. She'll make a bum out of you. She'll ruin you, that's what she will. Well, fellas, I didn't realize. Oh. I don't worry. Oh. oh, thanks very much. I'm so grateful. How much do I owe you? Not a cent. Go. 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 And keep away from that redhead. Hey. hey, wait a minute. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what's going on here? I got it here. You got what? Where are you going? Town hotel. <laughs> There's a murderer loose in this neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, who are you? I'll tell you that later. But first, we must find a clue to his whereabouts. A clue? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go to the clue closet. Yeah. The clue's closet? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a little too late. They're all dead. They must have been murdered during the night. Well, push him in. That makes me too nervous. I... Where's my portfolio? You mean your portfolio? I mean my portfolio. I know what I use it for. <laughs> Can you private eyes help a guy out of a jam? What's the matter? Well, last night I pulled a job in this building and I knocked off some little guys and hit them in a closet. Did, oh, yeah? yeah. yeah. And well, now the police afraid. have got a reward out for me. Yeah. Yeah. A thousand bucks alive and fifteen hundred dead. Fifteen hundred dead? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> okay, we'll split it up three ways. Five hundred a Very good. Very good, Detective Johnson. I shall jolly well tell the boys back home about this. The boys back home? Mm -hmm. And who are you? McTavish of Scotland Yard. Tavish of Scotland Yard. Mm -hmm. That music. Oh, that music. That music would raise the dead. Boys! What's the matter? Boys! You've got to help me. Three burglars just robbed my apartment and they're hiding in a haunted house somewhere in this city. Well, did they take anything? Did they take anything? Why, they not only got away with a big bag of jewels, but they took all my furniture, even the piano. You mean they stole your piano? Yes, but they didn't get my money. <laughs> I sat on it and they didn't see it. <laughs> you saved your money by sitting on it. Yes. Yeah, well, you should have thought you could have saved your jewels by doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are you laughing at? If you thought of it, she's going to save the piano, too. <laughs> Right on the schnozola. Give me another one. Goodbye, I'll be seeing you. Skipper, you and I for stroll. Merrily we roll along and how we love to roll along. Down the line, Skipper, darling. There you are. Skipper, one good turn deserves another. Put it over. Pretty. Now rock the boat. Rock it. You know, she really loves to do this. Ladies, try this one hour before breakfast every morning. Just for one hour. Oh, mother, don't you love your exercise? Isn't it lovely? Down the line. Thank you. Love it. Uh, set the limbs a little. Betty, darling, nicely, thank you. Isn't that lovely? Queen, 
darling. My little... Uh -huh. This is uh, Miss Personality. Take a good look. She's missed almost everything. Pardon me, darling. Such wise, if you don't mind. Tony, my little Tony, black faced Tony. There you are. Terry, my little Terry, where's the pretty girl? I hold everything. Peggy, we're now going to drive your approval, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! What the heck, your father? <laughs> don't laugh at her. She's a nut. Peggy, we're now going to drive your approval, ladies and gentlemen. What the heck are you doing? May I have a word with you, Jessica? May I have a word with you? <laughs> What a nut. What's the idea of this you got and carry one? You with the snake's hips. And what a dumb looking mug that thing has. Look at it. Didn't she dumb say, pardon me? Isn't that dumb? I said, pardon me. Say, stupid. Did you ever try holding the mug thus wise and put yours there? Put yours there. Gather yours together more and uh, yeah, just leave it lay. I'll get it. <laughs> it's all right. You don't have to stick it up like that, you know. Keep it there. Tony, stand there. And for the love of Mike, go and get a shave. You're one girl with too many whiskers. Keep it there, Tony. The idea. Would you mind standing just a little closer to the table, the way you get yourself lined up? <laughs> what a shake! <laughs> you couldn't go much further without tearing yourself apart. Tow in before you have it all over the platform. Ah, we have cup. Rather pleasant cup. Would you like to do something? You would? All right, let's go to town. This is Miss Patton. Come on, baby. Daddy, daddy, pretty, daddy. No! What a profound nut. You're bobbing up and down like a jackass. The idea. Look at the wrecking crew on the end over there. You'll pardon me. Would you kindly get in line? There, keep it there. Terry, the old sweet thing, Tony, and a baby queen, the way she put that up. <laughs> that was Miss Roughneck. She didn't even say, excuse me. Let me know when you're passing in our move, Betty. Now, pardon me. Isn't that dumb? I say, you know, I think you're dead, but you don't know it. Betty, let's try something different. Betty, darling. In the middle, the old sweet thing, Terry, and stay put. There you are, the idea. Tony, sweet thing, of your same sister. Queen, pretty girl, you'll pardon me, <laughs> lovely. Snookum, I beg your pardon, darling. Well, there you are. And uh, don't forget you two girls get together more. Snooky, darling, this is uh, Miss Snookum. We're now going to snoop her a little with Snookum. Stop doing the shimmy, will you? The idea. Snookum, pretty girl, daddy. Pretty. The girls, look at them. That's not it. Did you, uh, did you see the same thing I saw? Here, here's one for the book. Watch this one. Get it. Peggy! Peggy! Tubby! 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 Patches! Queen! Tony! Sit down, Tony! Well, what are you waiting for? Betty! Tubby! And that's my girl! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Sure, pal. Thanks. Hey, this subway here must be a swell spot for pickpockets, eh? Yeah, guy can't be too careful. There's a lot of pickpockets around here, believe me. Yeah, huh? Well, we yeah. don't have to worry. They got to worry about us, brother. Why? We're Ultraman Johnson, private eye detectives. And we just opened a new agency. Gee, I'm, I'm sorry, fellas. Here's your wallet. Here's your wallet. You didn't think we were dicks, sir? No, I didn't. 
And and here, here, yeah, yeah. here's your ring, and, yeah. and here's your stick pen. Gee, I'm, I'm sorry, boys. Yeah, well, here's your pants, too. <laughs>
blessed city sleep. Pray God thy soul to keep. Stone, steel, and jagged skyline sing out your daily byline. Dawn, shadows of the night are gone. City wakes up noiselessly. The Manhattan Symphony. Day, milling crowds both sad and gay, rushing, moving endlessly. The Manhattan Symphony. Subways roaring, airplanes soaring, rivets pouring in the steel. Shop girls walking, couples talking, brokers balking at New Deal. Newsboys yelling, hawkers selling, millions dwelling in the slums. Workers sweating, gamblers betting, bebop hipsters beating drums. Dusk, night replaces day so brusque. Complete so quietly. The man had symphony. So the kid thinks Manhattan is a symphony. Well, that makes him the biggest simp. How many movements has a symphony got? Oh, about three or four million every second. I ought to know I'm a hacky, I get around. So what do you want from a symphony at these prices? Every character is a movement. Now take Josie over there. Nice kid. She'd like to hook a couple of million bucks and sables and minks. But I'm afraid the only break she's ever gonna get is in that little old ticker of hers. Ah, the darlings of the underworld. They work in a bargain basement. to Buddy the Bobster. There's a real hip character. He wants to grow up to be another Dizzy Gillespie. Well, he's got a good start. He's plenty dizzy. Lock.
Alan Ladd. Tyrone Power. Why can't I get a guy like that? I sigh for a guy who absconded. Loved me nice, then cleaned out the house. He left me a note saying thanks, unquote. Why do I always lean toward a louse? I mushed with a lush who was bonded. Thought he'd make a real novel spouse. But who can unbend on a lost weekend? Why do I always lean toward a louse? Met with the lad from the Fuller Brush. He had a voice that sure was thrilling. I swooned when he crooned, but he had a crunch on my maiden cousin Tilly. The last in my class who responded heard that I was poor as a mouse. He grabbed a rich wren who was six times ten. Why do I always lean toward a loud? Charles Eve, how many times do I have to call you? All right, Mom, don't strain your voice. I'm coming. Boy meets girl. Two heads without a single thought. But who has to think as long as there's a nickel for a jukebox? <laughs> See what I mean? Now the guy that wrote this may call it Manhattan Symphony, but me? <laughs> I'll take salami. Well, there it is. Take it or leave it. Taxi, mister? Once around the park with you and the little lady? Okay, get in. Now there's your real Manhattan Symphony on wheels. Oh, man. private detective you're going to be. You, you don't even know where to wear your badge. What's the matter with Why don't you pin it on your shirt? I can't. Why not? My pants will fall down. Uh, you're impossible. How are we going to find that old mansion where those jewel thieves are hiding? That's easy. We'll ask somebody. Hey, buddy. What do you want? You know where that old mansion is around here? I think it's 13 Bleak, Bleak Street. Bleak Street. You uh, go to the right. Then you go forward, then you go to the left, and then you go back. Wait a minute. 
Is that the way we find the old dark mansion? No, that's the way you do the rumba. Yeah. <laughs> how do you like that? I ask him how to find the house, and he tells me how to do the rumba. He says, first you go to the right. <laughs> Joe, where did you learn to rumble like that? I used to ride a bicycle with a loose seat. Get out of here. Come on, hey, come on. we better ask a policeman. Here comes one now. Hello, go. officer. Uh, can we ask you a question? Can you ask me a question? What's the matter with That's all I get all day long. Everybody's asking me questions. Everybody. They beef, beef, beef. It's no wonder I'm always in a stew. <laughs> Oh, hey, beef stew. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's so funny about that? <laughs> you forgot the potatoes. <laughs> Bang! All right, Stooley, try that loudspeaker system you got worked up here. Where's you get the microphone? And the right, flowers? Right Hello, Joe. Yeah. You now? Yeah, everything's working perfect. That's great. Those two dumb private eyes are on the way up to the house. We've got everything rigged to scare the pants off of them. <laughs> I'm all set down here, Stooley. That's swell. Once we get them scared out of the house, We'll make a clean getaway with the jewels. Yeah, we'll sure get plenty this time. Now look, Louie, you know what you gotta do, so do it. Okay. Hey, here come those two Sherlock Holmes. Let's All right, go. let's get out. the worst dark and grimy place that I've ever seen in all my life. Stop your worrying. Because once we find these jewels and these crooks, you know what we're going to get? The best funeral that money can buy. <laughs> we're going to get $2,000 reward. Now you stay here and look around and I'll go in the library. Hey, you're not going to leave me here alone, are you? Now don't worry. If you need help, just holler. What's the matter? Where have you been so long? <laughs> Fine detective you are. Let this old dark mansion upset you like this. I got nobody. I'm going to get out of here. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before anybody gets out of here, before anybody gets out here, shut those windows. in this house and and they're laughing at us yeah well then come out of here you three crooks i'm gonna get them hand single-handed what do you think of that i just want you to do one thing what's that talk me out of it <clears throat> uh, you're not turning yellow on me are you yellow yellow i'll show you i'll get in front of you and if they start shooting yeah you get in front of me <laughs> there's only one thing that stops me from going in there and that's it Hello. The district attorney wants to talk to me. Find out what he wants to say. Hi, DA. Hi, Bo. Was that the DA or Cab Calloway? <laughs> They're hiding upstairs. Come on. Hey. Hey, look at that typewriter. It's moving and nobody's operating it. Must be the ghost rider. <laughs> Come on. They're hiding upstairs. Come on, let's go. Uh... Hey, come here. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Oh, this darn place is full of bats. I'll get rid of those uh -huh. bats. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that door must lead to the attic. 
Yeah. Open it. Well, get away. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who are you? I'm a mummy. I'm a pappy. Congratulations! <laughs> Come here, come here. Oh, let's get out of here. Uh, let's look for the jewels here first. How do you like that? Sam Spade has been here. Who? Sam Spade. How do you know? He just left his card. Uh, <laughs> I'll bet these jewels are worth a million dollars. That's what you mean. What'd you say? I didn't say anything. I heard somebody say something. You certainly did. Well, if you're not talking, brother, somebody is. Oh, it's your imagination. Turn on the lights so we can search something around here. Here, you mean there's no, there's no bulb? Well, I'll fix it. Why don't you say something? See, look, we're... Hey, hey. That's the whistler. <laughs> they got everybody working on this job. They... Who are you? Whistler's mother! <laughs> hey, that's coming from that closet. Yeah, well, get out of there, all three of you. I'll give you three to get out of there, I'll blow your brains out. One, two, three. I'll give you another chance. <laughs> uh, don't be afraid. What's the matter? Open that door. Right? Right now. There. All on account of you, they've escaped. I wonder how they got away. Through this little trap door in the back. <laughs> hey, listen, you stay here. I'm going up in the attic. Well, if I was a crook, where would I hide those jewels? Now, let me see. I mean... Another foot. Well, you 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 don't look any taller than oh, me. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> I had three feet just a minute ago. Oh, you're silly. It's your imagination. Oh, will you please? Let's get out of here, oh, please. Dave, I want to get out. Of here. Dave. <laughs> hey, who are you? Did you just see a funeral go by here? Oh. <laughs> no. Why? Well, I just fell out of a hearse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here, will you? Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> Sounds like a centipede with a wooden leg. <laughs> That's those crooks. And they're up there on the roof. Oh, let's go. I'm too weak. I know, but we... I am Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> Are you Abbott and Costello? No, we're Olsen and Johnson, please, will you? Go! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, listen, they're not going to scare me. I'm not afraid of them. You stay here till I get back. And don't let your imagination run wild. Imagination tried to choke me, huh? Oh, oh, here, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. Well, we sure scared those guys, and we boy was in hot in that closet. Look, let's get the jewels and get out of here. Okay. Hey, here they come back. Let's meet. Hurry. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give this house a good going over, right. and if we don't find those jewels, then I'm going to leave. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll yeah. go upstairs, yes. and you search for the jewels. Get out of there before I blow you out. Yeah. Come out! Come out! Hey, what's this? 
There's something wrong. I bought this suit yesterday. I brought it yesterday. Where's yeah. my hand? Uh, There's my hand. Yeah. I couldn't have lost this kind of weight yeah. in one night. I, I know, but look it. Hey, it, it was made for Hart, Shafter, and Marks. I wish they were here. It would fit the three of them. <laughs> look at here. Yeah. It's some Louis the Weasel. Louis the... Hey, that's it. You got his coat on. And they're still here. Come out, everybody. Come out. Put your hands up and don't clown. I've got you. Come out. Yes, everybody. <laughs> Just a little joke we're playing on you, Chick. This yeah. is your birthday. Yeah, my birthday was Sunday, though. It was Sunday? Yes. No, but this is Thursday. Thursday? Thursday! Oh! Thursday tonight, Thursday tonight, you and I. 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 tonight without wishing you and you and particularly little mother Olson way back there in Fort Wayne Indiana a lovely little toast may at all times and everywhere may you live as long as you want to and may you laugh as long as you live just call me Molly <laughs> Thank you, one and all, for your hearty reception of those bats in Buick's Belfry, Olson & Johnson. And now here's a very special announcement from the Buick dealers in your vicinity.